It hit. It hit hard. I mean, it's a, it's a community I lived for 20 years and I went to college with, it's a college at, and it's a, it's a place that's near and dear to my heart. Fortunately enough, I didn't I didn't know anybody that got injured. I knew people that were there, so I'm very lucky uh, to not have to experience what some did. And uh, I there's, I'm donating my whole check. There's no other way to do it. I promise I'm going to make the cut this year. I know I haven't made, ever made, haven't made money in the last few years, so I promise there'll be something I give. No. So we set a base of, of twenty thousand dollars that our, my, my wife and I are going to give to a fund, and then anything above that is obviously going to going to go. And uh, hopefully, uh, I can break out of my little uh, funk that I've had here in Vegas and uh, be be able to help a great cause. I mean, I listened and to Aaron talk and he, uh, speechless. I can't even compare to that. And what we're doing today is not even comparable to what he has to go through. And just talking to him last night at our event at Top Golf, it did. He's so grateful for such, I think, such a small little thing, a pro-am that I do in the PGA Tour does on a weekly basis, and you take it for granted of how, how we can actually really affect people in the community in which these tournaments are at. And I'm not just saying in Las Vegas. This is, this is a week in and week out of what the PGA Tour does. And we don't, we don't think twice about trying to help people out. That's mm-hmm. sort of what's ingrained in, inside of us uh, from a young age through golf. And uh, it's... It's a no-brainer to be able to help out this situation here in Las Vegas.